Um, the big when people talk about today the success of modern medicine is we're all living longer. I understand that's not as simple as they say. In fact, it's uh, a, a lot to do with uh, lower infant mortality rates. So it's yeah. the. Could you talk about you know you, you put the very careful rider in natural selection will look after us when we're young provided we don't get infectious diseases and yeah. things like that um, yeah. because it, it, modern medicine has a sort of triumphalism about it they were all living <laughs> so much longer okay can, okay. can you expand on yeah, that? yeah I, I lo love this point so in a sense you know what doctors claim for their success in terms of increasing human life expectancy in one sense is absolutely true and in another sense is a complete crock uh, the sense in which it's absolutely true is when we are basically healthy uh, n medicine does an amazingly good job of sparing us from highly specific threats to our survival so if you've just been in a car accident and you have a punctured abdomen um, among all kinds of other injuries you could have, you want to get your tail to an emergency room and have those physicians work their magic on you, sewing you up, uh, stopping the bleeding, giving you blood transfusions, uh, setting the bones that they can set, uh, giving you antibiotics to ward off bacterial infection and so on. And if you're young and healthy, they will be able to save your life. If you're old and decrepit and the same things happen to you, frankly, their chances of saving you are much decreased. Similarly, if you contract an acute infection, uh, like you have a bacterial infection and you're 10 years old, and they give you antibiotics, you have an excellent chance of surviving. When you're older and you have a bacterial infection like um, uh, bacterial pneumonia, they may give you the antibiotics in the hospital, but you might not make it because basically your body is pretty much trashed uh, by what's called the aging process by that time. So, nat so evolution uh, sets the terms, defines the limits within which medicine has and has not been successful. Medicine has had huge successes when basically we're healthy and we've just had some type of biological accidents happen to us, be it an acute infection or a mechanical trauma. When you get away from those really well-defined and straightforward adverse biological events, medicine has not been very successful. And of course, this is at the core of what the 55 are all about. The 55 are all about, in effect, building a new medicine which is way better at increasing the health, function, and ultimately, the life expectancy of older people, not young people who are healthy except for a specific well-defined medical problem.